Okay, so here we are now in part six of the Learn How to Podcast 101 video tutorial series. And so far, we've covered an overview of how podcasting works. We've talked about tagging your MP3 files. We've talked about all the equipment options that are available to you. We've talked about website and media hosting. We just finished talking about RSS feeds and how to properly set those up. So now it's time to get down to the business of producing our podcast. Now, of course, I'm going to turn you right now to this portion of the tutorial series. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about a proven podcasting workflow. And I'm basically gonna show you my step-by-step -step process for recording a podcast episode uh, and, and how I am able to do it where it requires little post-production. And I'm actually gonna go through the entire set uh, the entire step-by-step -step process of even publishing it to the web and then I actually have a video demonstration for you so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I want to let you know is I use software and by the way this software is called soundbite and it's by blackcatsystems.com this allows me to queue up my theme music it allows me to you know queue up audio feedback that came in on my voicemail feedback line and, and I'm able to just play these uh, from my computer that's actually bringing audio into my mixer and it all goes into my digital audio recorder. So this is, this is uh, basically the first thing that I do is I make sure that when I'm ready to record a podcast that I queue up all the audio clips that I'm going to do. All right. All right. Next one is, uh, and then of course, if I have pre-recorded audio interviews, I can actually put them in. Now, I oftentimes have co-hosts uh, for various podcasts, and you can see there's a screen grab of when I was connecting with uh, Father Roderick Von Hogan. We do Balanced Living Weekly every single week over at balancedlivingweekly.com, and so I usually get connected, and of course, I have the Skype audio coming from my computer into my mixer, and I have it set up to where Father Roderick is able to hear everything that's coming in from my computer except himself because I have this mix, thing called a mix minus set up where I'm sending audio back to him so that he can hear even the audio clips that I'm playing, but he's not hearing himself back. So the next thing I do is I connect with uh, my co-host if I have one. The, then once I've, I've got the audio clips queued up, I know what I'm going to say. I've done on my show prep. I would hit record on my digital audio recorder and immediately I would click the button to, to start the, you know, the, the gspn.tv network ID. It says, you know, this is gspn.tv, you know, and whatever. And then immediately, right after that, I would actually click a button to either play like a little stinger, like, hey, everybody, you're listening to such and such, uh, or my name is so-and-so, and, -so, and I'm, I'm going to have that in the demo. Or I could just go immediately into playing one of the various uh, theme songs for my podcast to get it started. And I would start it out with the music being at 100% of what it should be and making sure, of course, I've played with my audio clips beforehand, looking at my audio levels in my digital audio recorder, making sure that it's not gonna peak and that it's at the right level. And then once the music's playing, I, I let it play for about, I let it play for about seven seconds and then I bring it down to about 40% or even lower, uh, depending on the music. And then I say, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of such and such. And so the music has been turned down now, you can do this in the software, but I prefer to do this with the little sliders on my mixer, okay? So that's what I'm doing, and of course, once, the, once I'm finished talking over the music and there's still a little bit of music left, I'll ramp the music right back up to 100%, and then just before the music actually officially stops, I'll even start talking. You'll see that in my demo in just a minute, all right? All right, so yeah. Okay, next is I follow the show notes that I've prepared ahead of time. Now, I used to be using Google Docs, and I don't use Google Docs today. I'm using um, a thing called Wunderlist, W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-S-T.com, Wunderlist.com. It's a free program on the web. It's a free program on your desktop for your PC or your Mac. It's a free program on pretty much any mobile device. It is an awesome program. It's not made for show notes. It's literally just a basic task, at, uh, task manager. Uh, but it works great for me. And maybe I'll do a free blog post eventually one of these days on my site where I'll tell you how I'm using it. Anyway, then I go back to my queued clips. You know, as I'm, re you know, let's, I might have actually played an audio clip. Like you can see over there on the right hand side, it says, you know, Family from the Heart, Winnie Homework. And so I could actually click play. Hey, Winnie's got something to say. And then I could click play on what Winnie had to say. 
for three minutes and 14 seconds. We let that go and we listen as it's playing. And then as soon as it's done, we respond to Winnie saying, thank you for calling in. And then of course, now it's time to wrap up the show. I take the music for the outgoing. Usually I have longer music for that. And I started out at about 20% volume. So it's really low and I start talking over that. All right. And then I increase the audio gradually. Um, maybe just a little bit as I'm talking. I don't know. It, it depends on the music. And then once I'm done at the end, I just go ahead and turn the music all the way up to 100% knowing that it's, you know, that I checked the audio levels beforehand and I let the music play out. And when the music's done, I stop the recording. That's it. That's how it works. And then, of course, once I do that, I take and I take the S the audio or the SD card from the recorder, bring it over to my computer and plug it in. I drag and drop the file. Uh, I take my WAV file, open it up in my in my audio editing software. Now, I don't really need to do any edits because the music's there, all the clips are there, my audio levels are just right. I just run this thing called uh, my secret sauce, a multi-band compressor with hard limiter. So I run this, it makes me sound a little bit better and the way that I like it to sound anyway. And then once I'm done with that, I save it as an MP3 file. And then uh, once I have it saved as an MP3 file, I tag that file. Once I do that, then I upload my tagged MP3 file to Libsyn. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly my process of doing that. And then I publish my MP3 file to WordPress. And now, my friends, I just sit back and relax. The podcast episode is online and it's going to be automatically delivered to all those people who are subscribed to my podcast. And this, my friends, is a demonstration of how that all works. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a demonstration of my podcasting workflow uh, from beginning to end. Now, this image over here that you see on the right-hand side is a static image. That's not a video into my studio right now. Uh, however, I'm just going to tell you that when I hit record locally, I'm gonna tell you that I'm hitting the record button. And of course, I'm seeing my levels between 12 and six and stuff like that. And one other note, you're going to see me in just a moment turn down the slider volume to actually start doing my voice over top of the music. And I want to let you know that I normally would do that with a slider on my mixer over here. However, I for the demonstration purposes here, I'm going to show you how I, I do my intro as I'm recording the show. Now I'm going to be recording a fake episode of Podcast Answer Man and, and I'm going to get things started. And so to do that, we're going to say this is, uh, let's just say this is Podcast Answer Man episode number 250. All right. And so I am hitting the record button right now. Podcast Answer Man episode number 250. Entertaining, educational, and encouraging content that makes a difference. This is GSPN.TV. Join the community. Hey, this is Chris Brogan from chrisbrogan.com, and you're listening to the Podcast Answer Man. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Podcast Answer Man. My name is Cliff Ravenscraft, and this is the podcast about podcasting helping you take your show to the next level. It doesn't matter if you're a brand new podcaster, if you've been podcasting for many years, or if you haven't quite yet launched that first show. There's something we can all do to take our shows to the next level. Well, that's, my, that's right, my friends. We are here to help you take your show to the next level, and this is just a fake podcast episode. Normally, I would tell you uh, basically uh, what we're going to cover in this episode and all this good jazz. However, since this is a uh, fake episode, I am simply going to go up here and turn my music down really low as I would at the end of my show and go ahead and start playing that. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Podcast Answer Man. You know, this has been a lot of fun, blah, blah, blah. Leave a comment on our show notes over at uh, podcastanswerman.com. Look for episode number 250. You can call us 859-795-4067. All that good jazz. And then, of course, what I would do is once I'm done talking, I would let the music go all the way up.
All right. Now, normally I would not personally fade out that music. The reason why I faded out the music for the demo here is because it's three and a half minutes long and I normally let that music go. You can actually have your in extra or outro music actually go out as long as you want it to be. But anyway, now what I have done, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you this, but as soon as I turned down the volume and I had faded out, I hit stop right here on this image and therefore it is ready to go. And so the next thing I would do is I would pull the SD card out of this device. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. I am uh, going to get that SD card and I am going to put that into the side of my computer. Now, if you do not have an SD card reader, these digital recorders do come with the ability to plug in via USB cable. So, all right, so here are some files here. This right here is probably the little file that I just created. You can see that I recorded it in WAV format. So I have the highest quality available to me uh, to start with. All right, I dragged and dropped that right to my desktop. So I'm going to eject my SD card and put it away. I'll just stick that right back into my recorder. Okay, and what I will do next is I am going to go ahead and drag that down to my Adobe Audition and pull that up here. Okay, here is our file. It is loaded and I know some people wanted to know whether or not I would include my uh, secret sauce and for those of you I will go ahead and do that I'm just gonna go through it real quick here I'm going to tell you I do not use the gra graphic band equalizer so uh, we could actually just remove that out of there I just went ahead and turned it off but here's what I would do I would put a multi-band compressor in here I'm gonna click edit effect and here's what I recommend that you do it is broadcast change the gain over here to negative 1.5 Click enter and then go to band one. Remember, you did the drop down already for broadcast, negative 1.5. Make sure brick wall limiter is on and turn your gain up to 2.0. Hit enter. Okay. And once you have done that, you're ready to close that. The other thing I would add in here is a hard limiter just to make sure that it definitely limits everything. This is something new in CS 5.5. And I basically just use the default settings here. Uh, you got negative 1.5. So this might be different wherever your settings are right now. So just do negative 1.5 and hit enter. And your input boost should be definitely at zero. And then hit that. And then uh, the lock head should be seven milliseconds and the release time should be 100 milliseconds and hit link those channels. And as long as you got those set, you have it all good to go here. There's more information on how to use Adobe Audition for podcasters in uh, Adobe Audition 101. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this process to the entire file. So really, honestly, I just open up my WAV file. I just go and drag over or do my drop down and do uh, my secret sauce. I run that over the entire episode, as you can see in the beginning. Podcast Answer Man, episode number 250. And it's all there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top and I am going to do file, save as, and then I'm going to come down here and I am going to change this to, uh, we'll just do fake episode and um, yeah, we'll just leave it as fake episode and do MP3. And I always leave my sample rate at 44, 100 kilohertz. And format settings is MP3, 128 kilobits per second. Now, these are details that you could learn in more advanced courses that I have in either Adobe Audition 101, Audacity 101, or GarageBand 101. But since this is Podcasting 101, we just know that we need an MP3 file, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. There we go. And so now I am going to go ahead and just close Adobe Audition. And now I have over here an MP3 file that is labeled fake episode. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to open up my ID3 tag editor and I'm going to bring that down here where you can see it. All right. And I'm going to look for this fake episode and I am going to click open and I'm going to click on pictures and I'm going to bring that down here and I'm going to click add and let's go ahead and add podcast answer man graphic to this. So we're going to go to Dropbox podcast images and scroll down to my podcast answer man logo and click open. And then I'm going to put totally fake episode. 
Cliff Ravenscraft. And for my album, I like to put podcast answer, answerman.com podcast. All right. And then we'll click update. Now that puts the artwork and everything on that image. And of course, it moved that image over to here. Now, uh, I will tell you that my uh, Mac OS right now is having a hard time grabbing artwork, but I promise you the artwork is there. So now this fake episode.mp3 is on my desktop. I'm just going to move that wave file out because we don't need it anymore. So the next step is to let's upload this thing to Libsyn. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up Firefox here and I'm going to go to Libsyn.com, L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. All right. And I am going to log in as me. Okay. So now I'm logged in under my Libsyn account. I am going to go ahead and just put this under my GSPN account since I'm already in it. And so I simply click the publish button because again, I'm only using them for a media host. I don't want to do any of this other stuff. So I click the publish button. I want to do file for download only, and I want to do hard drive. All right. And as soon as I do hard drive, I'm looking for a fake episode.mp3. I click that button to open that. And then I click the publish button. And after I click the publish button, you'll see that it says it's beginning to upload. Now, while that's uploading in the background, I want to show you real quickly here. I'm actually going, I'm not putting this on my podcast answer man feed for the demonstration purposes of this demo. But if you look here, I have this gspn.tv post shows and more. And so if I click upload, uh, not Mark is unplayed, Mark is played. Anyway, if I click here to update a podcast, you'll see that there's no more than just, it's just got seven, eight, nine, and 10 in here. And if I keep clicking update podcast, there's nothing there. All right. So we're going to put this episode into there. Now, if I come back here, you'll notice that this episode is done uploading. And what I want to do is I want, I don't want to highlight this URL. You know, remember the getting the web address from that MP3 file. I don't want to highlight it there. The reason why is because sometimes, even though it looks like you just have it, you might get a little space in there. So click back to post up here. And then we're going to click on over, we're going to hover over our episode that we just uploaded. I am going to click links and I want the direct download URL. I'm going to copy that. Okay. So now that I have that copied, now I'm going to go to my WordPress site. So if I go to gspn.tv slash plus access, all right. This is my gspn.tv plus member access site where they have access to all the content. And I want to publish this episode here. All right. So the first thing I'll need to do is get into my WordPress dashboard. So WP dash admin. All right. And then it says that um, it wants to log me in and it's doing that. And I'll just go ahead and update that password. And over here on the left, I'm just going to under posts. I'm just going to hit add new. And before I do anything and forget about it, since I know I already have the podcast episode URL, the media URL from Libsyn, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in. All right. So I just went ahead and did traffic.libsyn.com slash paste. And then I'm going to hit verify. All right. And it should turn green and say media successfully verified. That's a very good thing. And then over here in the categories, I'm going to choose the appropriate category. And the category that I need to do is uh, post show and more. And so I wonder if I can even find that in here. And here it is under our other shows. And then I just choose post shows and more. And that way the least number of people are going to get this when I post this in. Another thing that I did is I went ahead and chose ahead of time what I was going to use for my title and everything. So what I'm, I've got here is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to grab this title right here. And I know it's a fake Podcast Answer Man episode, but I'm just going to do this so that you can see what it looks like if I was to put it in this post show and more podcast that I do. 0011 post show discussion. This is a totally, or this is a fake episode. All right. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the show notes for this. And by the way, this is just a standard blog post. I mean, you wouldn't do anything special here. You don't have to actually create a right click here to download and, and put all this other stuff. Uh, we're going to just let it do some uh, some spell checking here, obviously. Uh, my, that's a good thing that I have spell checker lit, right? Anyway, so basically this is just uh, a link to an image. They do have a visual editor that you can use. Um, I, I prefer HTML personally. That's just me. 
But uh, we've got everything ready to go. So basically what you do is you come in, you hit add new post. You're going to give your show a title. You're going to give it show notes or AKA a blog post. You're going to paste in the URL of the MP3 wherever you uploaded that file to the web. And, and by the way, this is the PowerPress plugin that makes this available in WordPress. It's not available without PowerPress. Um, and then, of course, there's post shows and more. All right, that's the category. And once I do that, I just hit publish. Now, as soon as this has been published, we go here and we look at the site and you can see episode number 11, post show discussion. This is a fake episode. And we click the play button. Podcast Answer Man, episode number 250. Entertaining. All right, so everything is working fine there. You can see the show notes is there. This is all set up, ready to go. All right, now the big question is, is if we go to iTunes, all right, and then all we have to do here is go and do update podcast, and lo and behold, check it out. Here's episode number 11. I can click get, and it downloaded that quickly. I click play. Podcast Answer Man, episode number 250. Entertaining, educational. All right, so there you go. It is done. Uh, that is the beginning to end process of how I produce a show. And you'll notice how once I published on WordPress, everything else happened automatically. And this, my friends, brings us to the end of part six of the Learn How to Podcast 101 video tutorial series. I sincerely hope that everyone will follow me directly right into part seven of this tutorial where I will be discussing some very important notes for those of you who want to create a podcast that professionally represents a brand, whether it be existing or something that you're just starting out. Some very important notes of that will help you take this basic foundation of how to create a podcast and take it to the next level. And also for those of you who are looking at just dipping your toes into the water and you just want to play around with podcasting as a hobby for a little bit and you don't want to spend any money, great news. Part seven is going to include a video tutorial on step-by-step -step instructions on how you can create a podcast 100% for free today in less than 20 minutes. I'll see you in part seven.